everybody and welcome to week three Squeak of three. Vlogmas. Squeak three. We really wanted to do that. Yes. Right now we're at the dog park with Riku. The mess. Yep. It's like 60 degrees today. In December 15th. 60 degrees. That's crazy. Oh, well, today's our engagement anniversary. Yeah, so today, two years ago, is when me and Zach got engaged. <laughs> Which is crazy that it's been that long. But, yeah. So, we're just at the dog park. Walking up this hill. Yep. This is strenuous exercise. Oh. Oh, so this is strenuous exercise. Cross country. Oh, Riku's pooping. <laughs> oh, okay. I won't film that. That's weird. Very little. There's a little poop. Okay, so welcome to day two of this week's vlogmas. I'm just walking Riku right now, but I thought I would hop on here because I had something weird happen. Um, so I got notified this morning that my Jeffree Star mystery boxes were out for delivery. So I was like, yay, because they're supposed to be, the expected delivery date was always today. Um, obviously I was hoping they would get here earlier, but, you know, they were, come, they're coming today. So they were out for delivery, and so I got notified, and then, like, an hour or two later, maybe not even that long, I'm not sure, I'll have to, like, check and see exactly how long it was between notifications, I got notified that it was back at the post office, and that it would be delivered tomorrow between 3.30 and 4.30. I don't understand how that makes sense. Because when I got the notification that I was out for delivery, it was the normal time that our mail normally, like, gets delivered. Because I get emails, notifications about our mail for some reason. I don't, I don't know how that happened, but anyways, I do. And, I don't know, it just doesn't make sense. And so I'm crossing my fingers that they'll still get here today. Obviously, I'll let you know if they get here today. And I'm gonna film an unboxing, which will be a separate video. <sighs> But yeah, he's about to pounce on the squirrel, where he thinks he is. But yeah, so it was really weird. Um, yeah, just felt like sharing that, I guess. Psst. Anyway, just gonna walk this little rascal. We're putting him in the kennel tomorrow. For tomorrow through um, Thursday to see how he does. We're not going to be going anywhere. I mean, on Wednesday we're going to go out of town, but it's just like a couple hours away to spend the day. Um, since we don't have much to do here. But we're just doing it to see how he does because we have a trip we're going to be going on in January. Which means he'll have to be in the kennel for five nights. He's never spent the night in the kennel before, so I wanted to get him in there to see how he does for a couple nights in a row. I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> uh, I don't want anything bad to happen. I'm a paranoid person. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. Obviously, all that is happening this week, so you'll probably hear about it in the vlog in the next couple days. <laughs> He always gets hung up on this spot because there's horses and I think he thinks they're his best friend even though I think they couldn't care less about him. Sorry bud, it's the truth. He just likes to stare at him and he gets really excited when they come closer. There's three of them. 
The other two are right there. Just two of them, the one, and then mine. My mini horse. Okay, so update. My package did come today. Um, I guess since I ordered more than one of the mini boxes, they just put them all in one bigger box, so I don't know. Um, but anyways, I'm going to film my unboxing right now, and then if you want to see that video, it'll probably be up before this one, but if you're watching this before you watch that one, then you can go watch my unboxing video, even though I know almost everybody's already done these videos. Mine just got here, obviously, so... Yeah, if you're still interested, um, you can go watch that. Yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> what? It does like the chopping. Oh, that's funny. Um, okay. So now we're at Hobby Lobby before that clip was in Coles of Zach testing out the chair massager. We've been a lot of places today. Um, I'll show you everything that we've bought. Mm, but for now, we're just gonna look around here. And we finally agreed on a flower thing. Yeah, we've been looking for a flower canister for like months. Pretty much since we've been married. We've yeah. wanted one. We haven't right. really been. Like, we finally found this fun. one at Hobby Lobby. And it's half off. <laughs> so it's only like six bucks. Yeah. So that's not Perfect. Bad. Now we're just looking at bullet journals. And this is a pentallic illustration thing. Somebody can't decide if they like blueberries or not. Look. So did I laugh at you? I wasn't laughing at you. Did I hurt your feelings? I'm sorry. Do you want your blueberry? <laughs> Just licked the blanket. Is the blanket more tasty than the blueberry? Can you not taste it with the skin on the outside? No. He'll eat it eventually. I gave him one before this one and he finally ate it after a little while. <laughs> Silly boy. Hey guys, um, so we just got back a little bit ago from going to look at a house for sale and after we looked at that house we went to a waterfall and so right now I will insert the clips of 
that waterfall that I took. There's like, I think there's three clips. So here they are. It was super cool, it was super fun, it was super cold, but I'm really glad we went to see it. Um, yeah, I have to go back sometime. Miku just came in here, he's so cute. Cutest boy. Looks like a little squirrel curled up. I love him so much. We actually left him in the kennel from, when was it, Tuesday until Thursday, so, um, it was like two days and two nights from, because we didn't, like, take him on Tuesday morning, it was like the afternoon, and then we picked him up, um, the first thing on Thursday morning, um, but we wanted to see how he would do overnight, because we have a trip for the end of January, that I'm super excited for, I'm not gonna say where we're going yet, because, I don't know, I just feel funny about saying where I'm gonna be at a certain time, because I don't, on the internet, uh, that's just weird to me. So, but I'm gonna video it, so you'll know after I go where I was, if that makes sense, because I'm gonna vlog it, it's gonna be super cool. But, um, he's gonna have to be in the kennel for five nights over that time, because our trip isn't that long, our trip is only from a Monday to a Wednesday, but our flight leaves at like seven in the morning on Monday, and so we have to, like, leave here really early to get to the airport, and the kennel doesn't open until eight. They're not open on Sundays, and so we have to take him on Saturday. Um, so he'll be there from Saturday until Thursday, um, because our flight gets back after they close on Wednesday, um, so we can't get him until Thursday morning. Um, so I'm really sad about that, because when he was in there this past time, he did really well, um, for the most part, they, he didn't really eat anything, and, um, he, I don't think he really slept either, he's never slept away from home except once, and that was a long time ago, and he was just, like, a really tiny puppy. He slept with one of our friends overnight, because we had somewhere to go the next day, um, but yeah, and he's not used to being in a kennel because he learned how to get out of his kennel when he was like three or four months old. And so we just, like, eh, we didn't try very hard at in kennel training him. Um, so that's probably our bad, but whatever. Um, I like him to be happy. And I know structure is good for dogs, and he does have some structure. He just doesn't have kennel structure, so to each their own. Um, and so he didn't really want to go into his, like, individual kennel at the kennel. Um, so he gave, he gave him a hard time with that, but he was good. Um, yeah, overall he was a good boy. Um, but I don't think he slept at all because he's not used to being in the kennel and he's used to having a fan because we do have a fan for him Because he's a husky, he gets hot really easily. Um, he's spoiled. Yes. I don't care. Um, I like to spoil him But, so he didn't have his fan there, but it was cool inside. It wasn't like hot or anything. He did have his blanket Um, I just don't think he slept at all because yesterday he literally slept from when we picked him up at 9 in the morning Until this morning. Like he slept all day, all night, which is not like him. Like he loves his walks. He lives to like go outside and we took him out yesterday to go on a walk, um, around the afternoon when we thought, you know, he needed one. He never asks to go out either, we always have to just be like, mm, it's been a while, we should take him out. I don't know why he doesn't ask. But anyways, he never has a accident, so it's not like a big deal. But, this is turning into a long ramble. Um, so we took him out and we got, like, maybe a fourth of the way into the walk that we do. And he lay down in the grass next to the road. And I'm like, what are you doing? And he like wouldn't come. And so I turned around to go back the opposite way, the way we had come, thinking maybe he didn't want to go the other way. And he hopped up immediately and went over and went straight home, which he never does. He like always fights us, he even with the shortcut, which he never goes the shortcut because he knows if we go the shortcut that we'll get home quicker. And he hates going home. He just loves to be outside. So that was not like him at all. He's never done that before, like ever. Um, so he was tired and he just went right back to sleep when we got home. Um, so yeah, it was really sad, but um, he has a little more energy.
energy today. Um, I know this was all yesterday. I didn't vlog yesterday because we were all super tired from um, going um, out on Wednesday. Uh, but yeah. Oh yeah. So that leads me to my next segment of I was going to show you what I bought. I only got a couple things because, okay, so we had a budget for each of us, me and Zach both, to spend on, like, whatever we wanted because, um, we're trying really hard to save. We don't, like, buy a lot because, um, we're on, like, a really tight budget and we're really trying to save for, like, a house and, you know, future children and stuff. Um, so we really don't buy a whole lot for ourselves. We'll splurge every now and then, but overall, we just, we don't. Um, so I spent my budget on the Carly Bible Anastasia palette. Um, when I first saw this palette, I was not interested at all, but when we went to Ulta and I touched it and I, like, swatched it, I was like, this is so pretty. Sorry, the lighting is so terrible in here right now, but here are the shades. This lighting does them no justice. Um, like, I think my favorite shade is this Ooh, Mandala, and Joda is super pretty, and this OA is so pretty, and this Aura. I just love all these shimmer shades. They're so pretty. Um, the mattes are pretty typical brown shades, which I don't, like, love the mattes. I do like Cindy and, is that Steve or Stev? I don't know. I do like those. Um... But yeah, when I touched these, they were just so soft and so pigmented. And I was like, wow, this palette is actually really pretty. And it was my favorite one that they had there. So I decided to pick it up. And I swatched some of their other palettes they had there, and none of the formulas came close to the formula of this palette. I don't know if it's because, like, it's one of the newest ones or what, but... The formula of this one was just so much better than the other ones. Um, and I also grabbed... Oh no! I stabbed one of them. Hopefully it was one that I didn't love. This is why I can't have nice things. This is my first high-end palette I've ever bought at full price. And I broke it already! Before I've even used it! What is wrong with me? Why can't I have nice things? And the other thing I picked up was this NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. It does not want to focus. There we go. In the shade Light 2. Whoop. Hopefully, oh, vanilla. Hopefully the shade will work for me. Zach said that the lightest shade looked too light, but they didn't have one for me to swatch. This was the lightest one they had for me to swatch, and I think it will look good. Um, I've wanted to try this ever since Shannon talked about it on her channel. I've, like, had this on my wish list. So finally, I was just like, I'm gonna grab it. I did a lot of back and forth on whether I wanted this or something else. But I just went for it because I've been wanting it. And it's... Yeah. The color does not do it justice in this lighting. But I will be doing a video soon using new products to me. So I'll be using this palette and this concealer and a couple other new things. Yeah. I feel like it's crazy though because we had that budget for each of us and I bought these two makeup things and this is all I got and I still ended up over budget for mine. <laughs> Not by a lot. Our, it, I had $75 and it came to exactly $75 but then after tax and everything it came out to like $79 for two things. Isn't that crazy? It's crazy how expensive makeup is. This is why I can never buy new makeup. It's... Ugh. I hate how expensive it is. 
I mean, obviously, there's some really good affordable makeup, too. I'm not saying it. I'm not, like, this and that. But, you know, it's nice to buy, like, a new high-end makeup product every now and then. But it's, like, so expensive. Like, I don't understand. Um, I mean, I do, but, I like, I don't. I do and I don't. It's annoying. Bottom line, it's annoying. But I'm super excited to have this and to use it and play with it. I like the packaging, too. It's unique. Um, I'm gonna stop rambling now. It's, like, 8.30. I'm tired. <sighs> like a freaking old lady. Zach's at work. So, that's probably why I'm talking so much because I always talk more when Zach's not here. <sighs> okay. Um, I'm gonna go for the night. <laughs> and I will see you guys tomorrow.